Akwaba means welcome. You're welcome to what's new today. My name is Eddie, and I got my man here, Debbie. Yeah, what's up, dude? Charlie, cool thing. So, um, today too, we're looking at um some interesting topic. What's new? What's new? What's yeah, new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, um, Jessica, um, Jessica OS. Yeah. Yeah, a baden YouTube YouTuber. She did a video and she talked about five types of women who would cheat, cheat on, on you. you yeah that is an interesting video anyway i find it so interesting but, honestly but, she says some but, some points and um, you're gonna look at those points indeed yeah, okay, and okay. see okay. if i mean it is true five type of that women this kind of woman would cheat on you the first woman on her yeah. list is materialistic women yeah what's a your woman. view on materialistic women well um she talks about a woman who i mean craves for a lot of things i mean who's so materialistic i mean she wants this she wants that so that kind of woman yeah i think so in in her in her description she yeah. didn't only stop about adam her description of materialistic mm-hmm. woman mm-hmm. she didn't talk about a woman wanting but a woman who wants and is not going to put in any effort to get it mm-hmm. all she wants is somebody who can readily provide yeah. for her yeah, I, I, I find that to be true, though, in a sense that if you are uh, to go out with a woman who always wants you to provide for her, a woman who wants staffs, okay, the moment you are not able to provide those staffs, then she is likely going to the next person yes. who will provide for her. Yeah, so such people are prone to, I mean, cheating. Basically, I mean, they run they to the highest bidder. Exactly. I mean, they sell it to the highest bidder. If <laughs> we can put it that way, I mean, I say they run yeah. to the highest bidder. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's something. I mean, they can't hide it. I mean, mm. yeah. yeah. But but I think we should consider two things. There are okay. people who are genuinely lack, who genuinely lack. People who are genuinely in need, mm-hmm. and there are people who also are materialistic. Like she said, there are people who want mm-hmm. all the great things and are not ready to work. I think what's most dangerous are those who really are ready to do anything for money for those who are just in need i'm sure if you can meet their need they may seem materialistic at the moment mm-hmm. when you reach meet their basic needs mm-hmm. i'm sure they'll be one of the most faithful women so yes materialistic women will, will cheat on you but you should well, also rate you should also understand how you define your materialistic yeah women. but then the, 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 the fact is the moment you call someone materialistic then it goes beyond you providing her basic needs Okay. You understand, yeah, because once you're able to provide a woman's basic need, then there's no point for her to be material demanding more. There's no point for her to be demanding more. But the moment she goes beyond that, then she's becoming materialistic. Probably you've been able to buy Infinix for her, but she wants iPhone 12. I mean, that is probably on the higher side. We'll go to the yeah, next so point, but what one man's luxury is another man's necessity, or rather one woman's luxury is another woman's necessity. Yeah, that is, how, that is why you should know your your man, or you should know your woman and know, I mean, your strength. So, yeah. So the next point, Jess talks about, she talks about, she is still active on dating it's sites right, yeah. and apps. Um, well, um, personally, I, I think this kind of point um, maybe may not apply so much to our settings because we don't even use the dating apps more like uh, probably when you go to the western it's, world it's, we don't but use it as much but surprise a lot of women especially mm. are on dating apps looking oh. for Ghanaian men and very often in ghana yes yes there are women who look okay. for Ghanaian men on dating apps and there are women who exclusively look for foreign men on dating apps okay so yes um well, yeah so um she says um if you are with someone who let's say you've been together you, you, you've while. been together with someone and the person is still on these kind of apps anyway i don't know what the person will be doing there i mean looking for what <laughs> looking for love come on you found it <laughs> i agree yeah, with, so I, I agree absolutely it's, it's, with this it's, point it's, it's, if it's, your partner is still active and the word is active on dating apps yeah. yeah yeah she is going to cheat on you she's planning to cheat on you she's not already yeah. So the third person is the unapologetic flirts. I think which links to the second one. Mm. Uh, definitely, she's gonna like hi, hello, what's up? You know, always waving, hollering at your boys, mm. even those who are not mm. your boys. You know, always showing that they are ready for something. Like you know, 
overly friendly, overly jovial, mm. Mm. smiles mm. too much. Yeah. That means you're entertaining people. Yeah. Perhaps yeah. it's indirectly we have saying that you're not doing enough. So yeah. any 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 person who is in a relationship and does these things invite trouble for him or herself. Because the fact is the moment you are in a relationship, you find the one that you are looking for, you find the one that who is okay for you, you have to stop flirting with people you have to stop i mean unnecessary flirting i mean everybody you see you want to be nice and be kind of you know that kind of flirt. it's, I, it's I grew, always I, brief I, relationship. I, I, grew, I grew here on this point we can't yeah. say more actually yeah, yeah that in your relationship it's, yeah. it's so so unnecessary to flirt so so, so, unnecessary. so unnecessary but it, some people it's like some people find it amusing and interesting so you know, there are people who are likely to cheat on you. Flirt with your partner. Mm. <laughs> Get his attention. It's, it's, it's as simple. Okay, so the fourth one she says is she never shows you off. Wow. So um, you are in a relationship with this girl and you don't know any of her friends. You don't know. Probably even her parents is even the, on their stream. According to Jessica, I don't know where she works. You don't know any of her friends. Probably, you, yeah. You, you, you know. could know where she works. I think that could be easy. I mean, even if she doesn't lie, I mean, she, you, you could know where she works. But then her circle of friends. I mean, you meeting their her friends and kind of know their her friends knowing you that hey, you are the man in her life. I mean, some people find it find it difficult to do that and. Uh, it's 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 a red flag. I agree with Jess on this one too. It's a red flag. The moment she, I mean, hides you, you don't you you, you don't even go to her house. She doesn't allow you to go to her house. Exactly. <laughs> she exactly. She tell you. Yeah. When to come? <laughs> yeah. When not to come? <laughs> exactly. exactly. She liberates. She will tell you. I'm living with strict parents. My dad is so strict. Please don't come to my house. For all you know, she's living alone. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, yeah. wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That people are yeah. so, such a person, I mean, might be milking you. I mean, for you know, and uh, it's a red flag. I mean, what if the it. person isn't taking money from you? The person is just milking your emotions. Well, it could be milking your emotions, it could be milking your pocket, it could be even milking your time. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's look at the next way. She's enjoying it. I mean, yeah. yeah so, so the, five, the fifth type of yeah. woman who cheats on you is women who lack attention. When she says women okay. who lacks attention, it means women who their partners do not give them attention. She said that not lo- not all women like attention, mm. but every woman wants a level of attention. Mm. That is to say, if you have a partner and she is a woman, mm. you should give her attention. Mm. And that's that's that keeps her safe with you. That keeps her in the relationship. When you don't show her attention, when you neglect her, ignore her the whole day, two whole days, mm. man, yeah, you are digging your own grave. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it it's like such a person is likely to cheat on you. You know. Yeah. And I think women. I mean, naturally, women are are made in a way that they 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 love attention. They love you to remind them that hey, you are beautiful. You are. I'm there for you. You know, a whole lot of stuff that I mean goes in on there, and it's something natural. I mean, so the moment these things are not are not are not forthcoming, then I mean. You, you you have <laughs> something to do with there. Overall, yeah, so, overall, I like I agree with most of the points she made, but I still think the definition of materialistic woman is, is it needs to be defined because, like I said, one man's meat is another man's poison. One man's luxury is well, um, another man's you know necessity. You, well, you, using the same phone analysis you made, you might think Infinix might be a phone a woman can manage, but to a woman, Infinix is not even a phone worth holding. She might. A minimum would probably probably a Samsung or even an iPhone. So, yeah. Well, uh, these are points that I mean could tell you or show you some red flags in the relationship. I mean, if you come across <laughs> people like this, yeah, it's 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 only something to remind you that hey, I mean, be careful the person you are dealing with. Okay. Because okay. the moment you're unable to handle these things, the moment you're unable to provide for her, for her materials, then. You are, you are, you are, you are probably going to be in, in a second year. <laughs> okay. okay, that's what's new today. Um, yeah. So, um, thank you for watching our videos. If you enjoy the videos, do subscribe and like our videos. And thank you. <laughs>